Hello everyone, my name is Maya Gul and in today's video, I will be telling you guys the top 5 skills that you guys need to ace a DevOps engineer position or a DevOps engineer interview. So starting off with the first skill, the first skill and the most important skill is learning AWS or a cloud platform. The most famous cloud platform mostly majorly is AWS and I also have experience in AWS. So I'll be talking more about AWS. Uh, I won't be talking about Azure or GCP, but they're also great cloud platforms. So the most important skill would be learning AWS, gaining the experience in AWS, in the cloud platform, working with all the services of AWS like S3, RDS, you know, the famous ones which are like majorly used, EC2 instances. Um, we also have like Lambda functions and API gateways and there's so many more services. So like try to gain as much as experience as you can like do hands-on work like go open the aws console go open the services see all the configurations just learn the services gain experience on how to use them like try creating try running an ec2 instance and you know configuring its security groups and configuring its subnets and you know different stuff like try creating a vpc which is like a pr virtual private cloud and you can like customize your own um, EC2 instance inside it, you know, the security group ports, the subnet levels, you can also have an internet gateway, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, you need to gain exposure in AWS and gain your hands-on experience, like not only theory experience that if someone asks you what's S3 and you're just like, oh, S3 is the storage a simple storage of AWS. No, you actually need to know what S3 does, why you use it, and what are the other configurations inside it. Like, can you have versioning in it? What are the different bucket policies you can keep in it? What are like permissions you can keep in it? You know, stuff like the in detail stuff uh, of the services too. You should learn that. Other than that, again, hands-on work is a um, must. Like, hands-on is the most important work because for me too the most important thing that helped me was the hands-on uh, learning you know just go watch tutorials on youtube and just uh, try recreating all the steps of the other person and you know just because by doing that you learn that hands-on uh, experience and if someone asks you know go create an s3 bucket for me you know simply you know okay that's easy for me or if someone asks you uh, run an ec2 instance for me you can simply do that Okay, you run in like SSH into an EC2 instance, that, that, that should be easy for you. So stuff like that, you know, you should gain experience in AWS. That is the most, um, I would say, important skill ever for a uh, DevOps engineer position and a DevOps engineer interview. So other than that, I would say getting certifications. This is kind of part of the AWS skill that, that I'm talking about. Gaining certifications, especially AW certifications, are a must right now. The certifications actually let you have the interview first. You know, if you have a great resume with like four or five AW certifications and you submit your resume to a company that you like and you want to work with for a DevOps engineer position, right? They'll see it directly on your resume saying five times AW certified and they'll be like, okay, wow, that person has the experience. That person has the knowledge to pass like five certifications on AWS. So, Certifications are a must. Whatever you learn throughout your experience, then try giving an, a certification and see if you fit those skills and if you actually have all that. Uh, you're certified to become an AWS, you know, DevOps engineer, for example. So certifications are a must. I would say that try taking the certifications one by one, step at a, a step at a time. You know, first take the cloud practitioner, then take the solutions architect one, then try going into the developer associate one, and then go with the professional one, which is the DevOps uh, DevOps professional. I am also like five, uh, four times certified. I'm also about to give my fifth certification, which is the networking specialty. So kind of working on that right now, but I'll be giving that soon. Otherwise, I would say certifications are a must. So also give the certifications with your hands-on and learning experience in AWS. I also have another video on the certification, so, so make sure to watch that. And now we'll be moving on with the second skill. So the second skill I would say that you need for DevOps engineer interviews, DevOps engineer position would be learning Git. So Git means like GitHub, you know, having all the repositories in GitHub, knowing Git versioning, knowing all the Git commands. You know, if you're into an, uh, if you have, for example, SSH into an EC2 instance, you should know all the Git commands, you know, how to 
how to pull a repository, how to push a repository. You know, these are some basic commands of Git that you need to know for your basic working. You know, if you get the position, you'll be working with Git all the time, you know, working with repositories, making Git versioning, you know, um, working with different branches, feature branches and master branches. So you need experience in that. So I would say the second skill would be learning Git and not only Git, but you know, other like the commands to different like basic, um, I would say like, not only Git, but like Docker commands and Kubernetes command, Kubernetes commands. So you know all the commands, uh, all the basic uh, stuff that is integrated into DevOps, like Git, Docker, and Kubernetes, etc. You know, you should also know all the basic commands for them, so that if you have any real life experience doing that, you will be easily able to ace the interview. If someone asks you, okay, um, how do you um, pu push a repository, for example? So you'll be like, oh, these are just the simple steps and you'll know that you'll know how to do it so i would say like git versioning is a good skill to have my third skill that i would say for a devops engineer position is learning linux scripting or slash a programming language so linux is a must you know everyone is majorly using linux and linux commands are a must you should know all of them not, not all of them like you know the basic ones that majorly are asked in interviews or in interviews or you know just the Linux command that you need to work on on an everyday basis if you get the position. So Linux scripting is a must, but I won't say that you, you should be like a Linux scripter or programmer or like an advanced level scripter, but you need to have the basic um, hands-on stuff on Linux too. Other than that, I would say that uh, not only with Linux, also uh, try learning a new programming language. For example, you can choose Python because I chose Python for myself as a programming language. I was like, okay, I'll start learning Python. And then I took some basic courses on Python and I started learning that. We also have a Python uh, course on playdesk.com. So go check it out if you if you want to learn Python. Other than that, like, you know, languages like Java, JSON, YAML, these are majorly used in AWS. So I also gained exposure on them. So you should also do that because that's a good skill to have, you know, like you'll be working with programming language, you'll be seeing code, code everywhere. So you need to have that knowledge that if you see a code, you understand what it, what it's saying, what it's doing. And if there's any bugs or issues in the code, you can simply like, you know, um, fix them. So programming language slash Linux programming scripting experience is also a good skill to have for a DevOps engineer. And now I'll be moving on with my uh, fourth skill for a DevOps engineer position, and that would be to learn Jenkins, Jenkins CI. So Jenkins is, is a continuous integration tool, which is kind of integrated into um, AWS too. So you can create an automated pipeline in Jenkins, and there's a lot more in Jenkins. You can have, you can run your clusters in Jenkins. You can run your Terraform, your cloud formation, everything in Jen Jenkins. So that's like a great tool, and I would say Jenkins is a must skill you must learn. It's it's such a good uh, tool, but also it has great, it, it will give you exposure to a lot of things you learn a lot in the DevOps field if you get into Jenkins and learn Jenkins. So I would say, you know, go on, go go find different tutorials, go find courses on Jenkins. I personally also have a Jenkins course on Udemy and also claydesk.com. So I'll put the links somewhere over here. You guys can go check them out. And if you want to learn Jenkins, with integrated with AWS and GitHub, I have a whole course on that. It's like a hands-on tutorial course. So if you want to learn Jenkins hands-on, um, just go watch that and go enroll in that course. It's quite good. Otherwise, I would say Jenkins is a must tool to learn. You know, it's um, once you get exposure to Jenkins, you learn a lot, as I just said. But Gaining Jenkins uh, skill is also very important, but not only Jenkins, I would say, again, coming back to AWS, we also have AWS code pipeline and DevOps developer tools of AWS. Those are also good skills that you must have, you know, try creating pipelines in a code pipeline. I know it's kind of complicated, but once you get the gist of it, once you uh, practice, practice, because, you know, practice makes you perfect. So keep on practicing, keep on, keep on practicing on Jenkins, AWS, you know, GitHub, like creating pipelines and stuff, and then you You'll get get your experience as a DevOps engineer and my last and final skill the fifth skill I would say for a DevOps engineer position would be to learn cloud formation or Terraform or infrastructure as a code so the infrastructure as a code two major services are cloud formation that is of AWS and then we have Terraform which is of um, HashiCorp so cloud formation is basically natively to AWS I would say go on with that learn cloud formation too if you can because it's an amazing service of AWS it literally helps you automate your whole infrastructure in seconds 
true. So infrastructure as a code is growing so much like through all the industry of DevOps, you know, with different companies. So infrastructure as a code is a must to learn and a must skill you have. So go try learning Terraform or go try learning cloud formation. And that is a skill I think you must learn gain experience in Terraform, gain experience in CloudFormation, create CloudFormation templates, and try running different TF files in Terraform, you know, giving connections to different providers like AWS, try running different resources, like even small resources like any EC2 instance or an S3 bucket through CloudFormation or Terraform so that you also gain that infrastructure as a code um, service experience. So I would say these are my top five skills you guys need uh, for a DevOps engineer position or a DevOps engineer interview. I mean, there are other um, like little skills that you need besides the top five skills too, but I just wanted to, you know, make this video and let you guys know that these are the top five skills I would say that you guys should focus on if you want a DevOps engineer position and if you want to ace in a DevOps engineer interview, because these are the major skills that are usually in the DevOps field and are usually talked about in interviews. There are questions regarding them. So I would say that learn these skills and if if you're interviewing for a DevOps engineer position, good luck for that. I have also have other videos on our YouTube channel, Playdesk, so go watch them too with AWS certifications and you know just different courses on AWS. So go enroll in them and gain some experience. Otherwise, I'm just going to end the video over here. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions, just do leave them in the comments below and we'll answer you um, as soon as possible. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video.